What's up guys, T Rock1992 here. For this next video and for my next review, I'm going to review the next Fast and Furious movie on my list, and that is Fast and Furious 4, which came out in 2009. <clears throat> now, as I have up on my I have up on my YouTube channel the first 3 Fast and Furious movies. This one is not a direct sequel to Tokyo Drift, the third Fast and Furious movie. Tokyo Drift actually happens after the sixth film. But for this one, for Furious 4, you get Vin Diesel a back after the first film. Well, actually, Diesel had a cameo in uh, 3, but you get Vin Diesel back in a starring role, his first starring role in the series since the first. Paul Walker is back in the movie, back since the second movie. He was not in the third. Michelle Rodriguez, back since the first movie. Jordana Brewster, um, back as well since the first movie. Um, Sung Kang. Uh, who plays a guy named Han, who was in the third movie, but these were the his events in the third movie, his doings in the third movie were bef were after the other Furious movies <clears throat> were before four. Um, you know, those are the big players that are back, and then there are some new characters. John Ortiz plays the villain. Um, Laz Alonzo plays the second in command to John Ortiz's character. And then Gal Gadot is um, one of the new people. Of course, Gal Gadot is known, is going to be known, is already known, she is going to be Wonder Woman in Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice coming out next year. So those are the big characters in the movie. So in this movie... Brian O'Connor, played by Paul Walker, of course, is an FBI agent now. He isn't in the if he, as you might recall in the second movie, he was forced to work for the FBI slash uh, special unit or something like that. He was forced to work with the government. This time in this movie, he does work for the government voluntarily. He, um, you know. So, he is trying to pursue a big crime, a big drug smuggling crime organized by um, Antonio Braga, who is played by, as I said, uh, uh, who is played by John Ortiz. He's investigating the crime. Dominic Toretto is actually investigating the crime as well. Dominic Toretto, of course, played by Vin Diesel. So, these two eventually meet up. And they basically team up to bring down Braca's drug operation. You know, stop them. <clears throat> and all that sort of thing. Um, Michelle Rodriguez... Actually, I have to try to think here. I watched like three of them right off. Um... Let me see here. Oh, yeah. Okay, I remember it now. Michelle Rodriguez actually really isn't in the movie. Um, you see flat... I think you see a flashback of her or something like that, and you see pictures, but she's not a, she's not a main character or a supporting character in 4 because her character presumably is dead. Uh, one of the guys, the guy who plays um, Phoenix, Laz Alonzo, um, he kills her. Presumably kills her. Um, so, Dominic Toretto obviously is after Antonio Braga and Phoenix and those guys in the drug smuggling operation because he thinks they're responsible for Letty's death, um, who's played by Michelle Rodriguez. 
So Toretto's after them for that reason. Brian O'Connor's after them to try to bring them down, to bring down that drug smuggling operation. Along the way, they meet a um, an assistant to Braga's drug operation, um, who is the woman is Giselle Haribo, who's played by Gal Gadot. Um, Jordana Brewster, she's not a major player in this movie, but she plays Mia Toretto, Dominic Toretto's sister. Um, Letty Marciano is Dominic Toretto's girlfriend, former girlfriend. Um, and overall, um, I mean, that's pretty much... I pretty much stated the main characters, and I stated the, um, the main gist of the plot. This is a pretty good film, I think, in my opinion. It's not the best Fast and Furious film. Thus far, Furious 1 has been my favorite. Uh, is my favorite. Um, more on the two films following that after, but, you know, it's nice to have Vin Diesel and Paul Walker back. It really is. It's a good thing to have them back. They work, they play off each other, even though I think Paul Walker's not the strongest actor I've ever seen, not even close, but he's synonymous with Brian O'Connor, so that's definitely, and he plays off well with other cast members, so that kind of saves him from acting by himself, kind of. He's stronger, so what I'm saying is he's stronger when he's playing off other actors. You know, the other people. Um, John Ortiz is the villain. He's not too bad. He's not the best villain in the franchise. I mean, the best villain in the franchise is Dominic Toretto. You can't really call him a villain, though. He does bad things, but you kind of understand why. But John Ortiz, it's oh, he was okay. I actually like Laz Alonzo's character better. Um, Laz Alonzo, many of you, you know, many of you may not know this, but he actually plays. He's actually on this NBC sitcom called The Mysteries of Laura that I actually watch. He's on the show as a supporting character, so that's how I know him. And it's like, I, I look into the movie, I'm, I'm watching the movie, and it's like, oh, that's the, oh, that's the guy from the Mysteries of Laura. So, it was pretty surprising to see him. Um, Sung Kang as Hong Lu, you know, he's pretty good. Um, you know, he's pretty decent. I mean, I, I, I think he's a pretty good actor. But the one that brings the movie down a little bit for me is Gal Gadot. That girl cannot act. My god, she's bad. She, she really is a bad actress. I mean, not a redeemable, well, just not a good character. I, she's great to look at, but that's it. That's completely it. She cannot act worth a lick. Which makes me worried about Wonder Woman with Batman vs. Superman. Can she actually act as well as be a sex symbol? I just don't know if it's going to happen. Um, The plot and all that kind of stuff is not as good as other Fast and Furious movies. You know... So, it definitely, it's a good way to start things off after Tokyo Drift. It's a good way to get all the characters back in, but with Michelle Rodriguez, who's one of my favorite supporting characters, you know, her character Letty is one of my favorite supporting characters from one, you know, they underuse her, and that's a, an issue for me, you know, they underuse that character. Um, she wasn't even in two. Diesel wasn't in two. And she wasn't in Tokyo Drift. When she was in one, she didn't have very much of a role to me. But, 
And at four, I mean, you only see her in photographs and stuff like that because she's presumably killed off. So, you know, the whole events of the film and things like that are okay. You know, it's it's not the best type of plot, but it's not the worst either. Um, saying that, I, I, I do enjoy the movie, definitely. I'm going to give it the same review as I did for the same grade as I did for Tokyo Drift. Three out of five stars. It's an enjoyable movie, definitely. Gal Gadot's presence really does take away from the film. And I, I can't really explain it. It's just not as enjoyable as other Fast and Furious movies. So, but saying that, I actually do like it better than Tokyo Drift. Tokyo Drift is my least favorite by far. Um, so that's pretty much it. Well, you can kind of understand, I mean, on on Rotten Tomatoes, it got a 28% rating, which is the lowest out of the Fast and Furious movies. Um, I think Tokyo Drift was worse, but I think 4 has its advantages over Tokyo Drift. I just can't see myself giving it a 3.5. I just can't really see myself giving Fast and Furious 4 a three and a half because the plot was okay, you know, it wasn't anything special, um, and Gal Gadot brings the movie down for me. So, yeah, I give it a three out of five stars. It's, it's a decent Fast and Furious movie, one I'd probably watch over, over again, you know, I'd watch again, but, you know. It's okay. And that's it for this video. DRock1992 out.